hardy horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hardy Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Tumbleweed. I'll Silver. Late one afternoon, two men sat on their horses in the shadows of a Judas tree near the trail that wound through the hills from the crazy W Ranch toward the distant town of Tumbleweed. They were leaning forward, watching through the narrowed eyes as a string of haltered horses trotted down the trail below them. One of the men fingered the trigger of a Winchester held across his saddle horn. Mm, it's a crazy W string, Trumbo. You had it correct. I always get correct information, Fletcher. Nice pass of horse flesh. That roan, for instance. We can get a fancy prize for him over to Tucson. I reckon we will, provided you don't miss your aim. And there's only one man herding him along. <coughs> Don't miss a shot like that. Seizure and shooting a trap wolf. Just say when. Yeah, he won't see us till he's close. Let him amble a mite nearer. You're the top man. When he drops, we'll round up the horses and head for Lost Valley, savvy? You know, same as always. In the valley, we change brands, do a little color changing on the horses that need it, and then sell them for plenty. I'll accept that strawberry your own. I got other plans for him. Yeah? Yeah. Special plans. Get set, Fletcher. Anytime. Hi, up, hi! Now. Well, I think we better be getting back to the Lone Ranger in Tonto, Victor. <laughs> I guess you're right. Time we were heading back for camp and... Hey, Victor, are those buzzards? Gee willikers, they are. They are buzzards. Two of them circling around the far side of that hill. Come on, Victor, we'll see what's the trouble. Come on, boy, get up there. That's it, Victor. Just as fast as you can gallop. There, now we can see what... Hey, golly, it's a man. He's lying right plumb in the middle of the trail. Oh, oh, boy. Mister, mister, can I help you? Dry gulched. Dry gulched by ornery horse thieves. Here, here, take a swallow of this water. Easy. <coughs> You're just a youngster. How'd you come to locate me? Well, I, 
reckon I know what's up when I see buzzards circling around. The horses? Just my own horse, mister. That's all. Here. That's no use. I can't lift you up. I'm not strong enough. Gosh, what am, what am I going to do? Just leave me be, Sonny. Just leave me be. I'll get help. Don't worry, mister. Here. There's my water bottle. Easy, boy. Don't worry, mister. I'll get the Lone Ranger and Tonto. They'll know what to do. It's not far, and I'll bring them back in less than half an hour. Get up, boy. Come on, Victor. That's the spot yonder, just around the hill. It's still light enough to see. There he is. Ah, uh, do you see him? Oh, Silver, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, steady. Stay on your horse, Dan. Yes, sir. Oh, how is he, Tonto? Can we take care of him here? Bullet already take care of him another way, Kimosabe. This man, dead. <laughs> Oh, just a second, Abby. I'm just finishing up washing. <laughs> sure is a fine thing when a fella's wife won't even give him time enough to get washed up for supper. At <laughs> <laughs> that, though, the way you can dish out the victuals, I reckon I'm the luckiest gent this side of the pearly gates. <laughs> I tell you, when I smell that cooking, it's all I can do to stop to get washed up. Look at that sunset, Rod. Huh? It's right pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Sure is. <laughs> but what's that got to do with supper? Nothing. I was just thinking. I like it here, don't you? No. Uh -huh. I'm mighty glad we settled near Tumbleweed. They're such nice neighbors. Yep, and I'm making a living as a horse wrangler. Well, this here's good country for horses, Abby. Good pasture land, good wintering. And plenty of wild broncos around Lost Valley for me to corral and train for sale. Rod, I... I wish you wouldn't go out to Lost Valley. That's dangerous country. Oh, 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 shucks. I'll only go there twice a year at the most. And it's worth the risk. Now, what say? Let's get that supper where it'll do the most good, huh? Watch out! <laughs> Hold on there! Say, looks like we got company. Isn't that the sheriff? Sure is. <laughs> Howdy! Howdy, gents! <laughs> I don't know as we got enough fiddles to feed all of you, but we can sure make a stab at it. <laughs> Come on inside. Oh, tell this isn't a social call. Huh? Oh, say, what's eating at you, gents? You got faces longer than Snake River. <laughs> you got any explanation? You better speak it out pronto. I don't savvy, Sheriff. Explaining about what? If my husband's done anything, I reckon it must be something mighty unimportant. Red never broke a law knowingly in all his born days. So tell yesterday afternoon, Matt Crowley, herd man with a crazy W, was heading for Tumbleweed with a remote of horses. Last night, an engine came into town bringing Matt's body. Huh? Matt Crowley was dry gulled, so tell, by a murderer and a horse thief. There's nothing worse than a murdering horse thief. Oh, poor Matt. Who did it, Sheriff? You sure look innocent, so tell. Give it to him straight, Sheriff. I reckon I will. No sense beating around the bush. Trot off that cayuse. So tell this is one of the horses stole from that string. There's been an attempt made to change his color. You notice? Whoever did it didn't do such a good job. Looks like he stopped in the middle. Uh, furthermore, the crazy W brand on this horse was changed with a running iron. It was changed to a saw T. A saw T? That's our brand. And you know where we found him, Sawtell? Down near the creek, tethered in a patch of mesquite on your property. Now what he got to say? Sheriff, are you accusing me of... of... murdering Matt Crowley and stealing the crazy W horses. Where's the rest of them? You're plum loco, Sheriff. I never stole a horse in my life. Facts are against you, Sawtell. You better say adios to your wife. You're heading for the calaboose. Never mind that, Sheriff. We got a rope handy. Let's save the expense of string him up on the nearest tree right now. Oh, Wait right. a minute. There'll be plenty of time for that after the trial's over. Come along, Sawtell. Oh, Rod. Rod. Dan coming back from town. Oh, Scout, open the hole. 
<laughs> well, did you have a nice ride, Dan? Oh, gosh. Gee, Willikins, we... Here. What's the matter, son? Otto, you didn't let him run into any trouble. <laughs> no trouble for Dan. But heap much trouble for horse thief. He isn't a horse thief, Toto. He, he doesn't look like one. <laughs> Sometime, best look an apple all rotten inside, Dan. Yeah, but well, I Toto's still... right, Dan. You can't judge a man by the way he looks. You judge him by the way he acts. But honest to Pete, the man he put in jail's got a wife. And he looked... Well, he just wouldn't, that's all. Mm, they find one horse on land. Only one, Toto? What about the rest? Mm, that all, just one. Did he confess? Oh, gosh, no. He, he kept yelling he was innocent. I could hear him clear outside the jail. Oh. oh what's this man's name, Tonto? Uh, his, his name's na Rod Sawtell. His wife's gone back to their cabin. She's just crying her eyes out. Tonto knows where the cabin is. Oh, gosh, you, you just have to do something. You make it sound pretty urgent. You stay here in camp. Get to bed early. We'll be back as soon as we can. Oh, golly, can't I go with you? Remember, Dan, you're only a youngster. Here, Silver. You're perfectly safe here, Dan. Just stay near the fire. Yeah, I will. Steady, big fella. <laughs> All right, Toto, lead the way. We'll talk to Sawtell. Uh -huh. Get him up, scum. Come on, sir. Who's that? Sawtell. Who's that? Where are you? The window. Who are you? What do you want? Well, your mask. Keep your voice down. Do you uh, want to get out of jail, Sotel? Do I want to get? Listen, stranger, you don't think I like it here. But what concern is it of yours? If I got this barred window open. You could get away. Say, hold on there. There's something wrong about this setup. And don't be a fool. Oh no, I'm not loco. You're masked. You won't tell me who you are. Not just yet. But you're offering to help me break jail. Yeah. Why? Well, you're innocent, aren't you? Sure I am. But I'm not breaking jail, mister. I'm staying right here. Oh? Yeah. Because I savvy what you're up to. It's you that stole those horses in Dry Gulch, Matt. You pretend to be helping me, but you know blame well that if I break out of this calaboose, that'll be proof positive that I'm guilty far as the sheriff's concerned... And he'll take after me with a posse, and they won't wait for a trial this time. They'll shoot me down like a jackrabbit. No, sir, I stay right here. Good for you. And what's more, I'm calling the sheriff. What's that you said? Good for you, Sotel. I was just testing you. If you'd been guilty, you'd have jumped at the chance for escape. What? Well, you mean... I mean I'm with you all the way. I want to help you. Now, tell me all you know. I don't reckon there's much to tell, mister. I was framed, there's no doubt of that. But doggone if I know who did just it Just or... start talking, Sotel. Talk fast. The sheriff's up front. He may hear us. There's no time to waste. Tell me what you do, where you go, everything you can think of. I tell you, though, Fletcher, I'd feel a heap more sure of my ground if we found the rest of those crazy W horses. So tells Guilty Sheriff. Well, all we've got is that roan horse. Well, then he got rid of the rest of them, that's all. Doggone it, it makes me boil when I think what he did to poor Matt Crowley. You pay for it, Fletcher. Never you doubt it. Hmm. <laughs> I reckon I'll turn in. Sorry to chase you out, Fletcher. Oh, shucks, it's all right. Time I was leaving anyways. Uh, I'd sure like to serve on the jury to convict Sawtell. I'd hang him high on him. And what's more, I... Sheriff, look yonder. Mm -hmm. Along the wall to the rear of the jailhouse. Gee, Horsifat. There's someone at the cell window. Must be a part of Sawtell. Follow me and use your guns. We'll corner the varmint, whoever he is. Hold her on. Sheriff, he's reaching for his guns. Blast him down. <laughs> Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger went into Tumbleweed to talk through the cell window with Rod Sawtell, he was seen by the sheriff, who opened fire immediately. The shots brought men who piled out of the gambling hall in the Cattleman's Hotel up the street. In a matter of seconds, the Lone Ranger was ringed by a circle of flashing guns. Only the darkness and his masterful aim kept the townsmen from rushing him. Masked man! Masked man! Sawtell, get back from the window. A bullet might hit you. Look out across the street! I see him. You're the best hand with a six-gun I ever saw. But it's plumb suicide to stay here. You can't hold him back forever. Yes, I know it's Sawtell. Well, then, Van Moose, mister, where's your horse? That's the trouble. He's way up on the bluff. Oh, then I reckon you're licked, mister. Perhaps. At least you've given me some ideas to work on. I didn't tell you a thing that mattered. Maybe not, Surrender. and still... Surrender! Surrender, we'll finish you for good. Stand back! Keep your distance! What entire nation are we waiting for? Ten against one. I say rush him! Aye! Hey, what's that? Sounds like horses. Hey! This way! Here, Silver! Hey, look out! It's a pair of horses. They're coming like a runaway engine. Get him up, scouts! Here, Silver! We hear shooting. Ready, boy. Hurry, old Sawtell. Don't worry. Ride, mister. Ride! Stare at him! Shoot! Shoot! Get him up! Come on, Silver! In and out again. That caught me by surprise. Now you was wasting bullets. They're gone. So tell who was that masked army. What did he want? He came to help me, Sheriff. And I haven't any idea who he is. Sure uh, was a heap of shooting, Trumbull. <clears throat> That messed down, Bray, and the engine got clean away. <laughs> Ooh, oh, feels good to get those boots off. <sighs> I wonder who that mess gent was. I don't know, but I reckon the sheriff will find out, maybe. Find out how? Oh, when him and the posse take up the trail in the morning. What's that? Are they going to trail those two? That's right. But I don't say, be. Sheriff seemed to think it wouldn't be any use. <laughs> I changed his mind, Fletcher. I told him that masked gent must be Sawtell's pard. I says if the sheriff can track him down, he'll find those missing horses. Why, that's loco, Trumbo. Who well, knows where them horses are, except... Yeah, that... yeah, sure it's loco. But with the sheriff out of town, it'll be easy to bust into that jail, won't it? Hmm? Don't you get it, Fletcher? A lot of the men are just itching to string Sawtell up without bothering about a trial. When the posse goes, the sheriff won't be here to put up an argument. He'll leave a deputy, that's all. I reckon it'll be easy for us to stir up a lynch mob. When the sheriff gets back, Sawtell will be dead. Oh, 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 oh. Just a moment, Tuttle, steady. Dan, Dan, are you awake? Yeah, I'm awake. I heard you and Tuttle ride into camp. Do you have any trouble? Oh, well, little Dan. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if a posse pulls in here a little after dawn. Huh? What's that? Well, don't be alarmed. Todd and I left a plane trail on purpose. We want them to get here. We want them to follow us. Oh, gosh, I, I don't exactly understand. I'll explain, Dan. Todd and I are riding on now. But here's something for you to give the sheriff in the morning. Yeah. After you see the sheriff, I want you to ride to Tumbleweed and... Well, just keep your eyes open. You understand? Yes, sir. Whatever you say. Camp, all right. The trail led here straight as a string. Say, mister, are you the sheriff? Well, I'll be... You were hiding behind the trees, huh, youngster? <laughs> yes, sir. Wasn't rightly sure it was you. Son, you sound like you expected me. I did, because I'm supposed to give you this. Hmm. Well, I'll be... Done. What is it, sheriff? It's a note. A note and... and a silver bullet... Gents, follow me. We're heading for Lost Valley. Make sure none of the horses slip away, Tonto. Can't waste time roping them again. They all on string, like you say. Kimasabi, how you know we find Crazy W horses in Lost Valley? Sawtell say that? Well, Sawtell mentioned Lost Valley, Tato. He 
had no idea the horses would be here. Oh. Sartell's innocent. He had nothing to do with that murder or the theft of these horses. How do you know? Last night when I talked to him, he mentioned that he went to Lost Valley once in a while to hunt wild horses. And I suddenly remembered that we'd seen last time we passed there. Huh? Oh, now talk to remember. We see men, Brandon, ten, maybe twenty horses. That long time ago. Yes, we went no closer. Apparently those men we saw almost a year ago were the horse thieves. Uh, too bad we not know that. Before this, huh? We had no reason to suspect it then. It was almost a year ago. Last night, Sawtell said that Lost Valley was deserted. No one ever went there. Yet we saw those men. Ah, oh, me savvy. Horse thieves take care of nobody see them. that right? Yes, but we were lucky. Otto, those horse thieves have been operating for years. And no one suspected it. But Kimasabi, why horse thieves try to make Sawtell look like murder, huh? Oh, it's simple, Tato. Sawtell knew horses. While most people never came near Lost Valley, Sawtell made regular trips to it as part of his business. They realized that sooner or later Sawtell would stumble on the truth. So they decided to make him look like a murderer. He'd be convicted and hanged, and their secret would be safe. Uh, bad men, clever like fox. Look up ahead, Tato. Uh, that posse. They must have the message I left with Dan. They're not reaching for their guns. Mm, he hopes so. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Howdy, Howdy, Howdy. 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 Mister, I'm sure glad none of our bullets hit you last night. Why didn't you shout out you was a lone ranger? There wasn't much time for shouting, Sheriff. You were too busy shooting. I reckon that's so. I see you got the missing horses. Yes, they were in Lost Valley. Uh, we find Corral hidden in cave. Yep, those are the crazy W critters right enough. Was it Sawtell, mass man? Sawtell? Yeah. Is that where he hid the horses? You're still on the wrong track, Sheriff. Sawtell had nothing to do with it. He kept saying so, and he was telling the truth. Well, then, who in tarnation are the horse thieves? We found no one with the horses, Sheriff, but they gave us the answer. The uh, horses did? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Mister, I never heard of a talking horse. Well, horses don't talk, but branding irons do. Here, take a look at this lead horse. The Crazy W brand has been changed. There's a new brand in this place. Well, I'll be doggone. You recognize the new brand? I'll say I do. We all know it, don't we, boys? That brand belongs to... Kimasabi, that Dan, and him ride plenty fast. Got Victor at full gallop. Something's wrong. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. Get him. Oh, Silver, back, boy. Oh, oh. Oh, Victor, oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh. I just came from Tumbleweed. Sawtell. Sawtell, they're Steady, getting... Dan, take it easy. Let's have it, boy. What's going on in Tumbleweed? They're, they're getting set to lynch Rod Sawtell. Yes. Quiet, everyone. You sure, Dan? Oh, sure as shooting. I saw him. A man named Trumbo and one named Fletcher. They worked up a lynch mob. They wouldn't dare do it. Oh, yes, they would, Sheriff. If you're out of town, they won't have much trouble getting Sawtell out of jail, will they? Uh, Hannah, you're right. There's just one deputy on guard there. When I left, Mrs. Sawtell was there. She was begging and pleading with him, but I don't reckon she can hold him off very long. Those no-account saddle bums are like a bunch of sheep. Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Now follow the leader, like sheep. Any leader. There's only one thing to do. Anything you say, masked man. Ride for tumbleweed as fast as you can. We might not be in time. Perhaps not. Tyler and I'll be there before you. Huh? Silver and Scout are faster than your horses. We'll go on ahead. Just the two of you? You're heading for trouble, mister. Chance we'll have to take. We can't let Sawtell die for a crime he didn't commit. Come after us. We will, as fast as we can. Good. Come on, Tonto, hit the trail. Get him up, Scout! Come on, Silver! Oh, oh, oh. Steady, boy. Steady, boy. Kino, here we are. This cottonwood is just right. Give me that rope, Fletcher. Yeah, here you are, Trumbo. Noose is all ready. I'll just throw it over that branch. <clears throat> all right, somebody... Harvey, make that rope secure. Maybe we're being a mite hasty, Trumbo. Sure. Never mind the sheriff. This necktie party goes through. We wasted enough time as it is. Tie that rope. All right. Yeah, it's fine. Now, I'll just drop the noose over your head, Sartell. <laughs> All set. You want me to take the gag off of him, Trumbo? No. Why listen to any last words? Leave him bound and gagged. We just slap the horse, and when the critter rides out from under Sartell, oh, that'll be the... Silver. Hey, what the... It's the masked man. Fletcher, slap that horse. Slap him and get oh, this... Oh, Silver, oh, oh, Silver, oh, oh. Did you see that? The masked man cut the rope with one shot. Oh, scout, hold on a hole. Now listen to me, you men. Sartell is innocent. These two are the gilly ones, Fletcher and Trumbo. Why, you... Throw that lie back in his teeth, Fletcher. Reach for your guns, mister. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I'll be doggone. 
Never saw such shooting in all my life. Cotto, make sure no one else draws a gun. I'm going to untie Sawtell's steady big fella. Uh, me watch him plenty close. There you are, Sawtell. That better? Uh, uh, thanks. I sure thought I was on my last trip. Mister, you with a mask. Well? We don't aim to start anything. Not against a couple of gunfighters like you and your engine part, but... But who are you, and what's this about? The sheriff can answer all of you. Here he comes now. You'll notice he's got the stolen crazy W horses. Oh, 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 oh. I see you got here in time, masked man. Just in time, sheriff. Here are your prisoners, Fletcher and Trumbo. I'm turning them over to you. Thanks. I'll see they get what they deserve. Sheriff. Sheriff, what's it all about? I'll tell you what it's about, you donkey-eared, lame-brained sheep. The whole thing was a frame-up. These two coyotes right here are the real horse thieves. And the brands on these horses prove it. Just look at their faces. That'll prove it, too. Sawtell's innocent. If you'd have hanged him, I'd never been able to hold my head up again or face his wife. The same goes for you, gents. Lynching. You're just plumb lucky you didn't get a chance to go through with it. Sheriff. Sheriff, we're ashamed of ourselves. And we're mighty grateful you found the real varmints. I found them. Why, you lop-eared polecats, I had nothing to do with it. I didn't solve anything. There's the gent who did all the work, right over yonder. It was the Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.